Welcome back to All My Traveling, guys. My name is Raul. I'm Noel. And I'm Evan. I'm Abby. And we're here in Jupiter, Florida for shark diving. Now, you guys are probably thinking like, what are these people talking about? Swimming with sharks, are you serious? But rest assured, they break everything down for you. They tell you all the tips, what to do, what not to do with them. The shark's coming in, that eye contact's made, it's not turning off yet. Whichever side you think it's gonna, you know, pass you by on, just hate wreck the shark, top down. They were definitely very educational on what to expect from the sharks. At the end of the day, you are in their home, their territory, so it's open water and at the flip of a switch, they can turn on you right away. So you always have to be pending, looking out for yourself, looking at your back. So let's go over some basic things you need to know, such as prices. You're looking at $200 per person for this experience. And it's a three hour tour. We took off at eight in the morning, got back at 11 in the morning. You do need to be there about 30 minutes early to your experience, but let's talk about what do we need to bring. They do provide you with rash guards, snorkel, masks, anti-fog for your mask and fins. Maybe a towel would be nice. Women, no shiny jewelry or bright colors because that does attract the sharks. Can we bring our GoPro? You can bring your GoPro, bring your 360. You can bring whatever you'd like. We brought it all too. We brought it all. We even brought the drone, which was a nightmare. I do not recommend flying a drone because that was pretty bad. Yeah. Bro, there's a bunch of tours in Jupiter that do this. Why did we pick Shark Addicts? Shark Addicts, the two guys, Cameron and uh, Mickey, and you have Captain Tony. Collectively, they have over 22 years of experience. Now, on top of that, out of all the tours, this is one of the few that actually has the longest time in the water. We did about two hours in the water, like two complete hours. That was yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. Who got in the water first? <laughs> I did. <laughs> who, who got out of the water last? <laughs> I did. Why am I laying over the road like this? <laughs> yeah, why are we doing that like this? I have no idea. So they just put more chum out. And I will say, in the moment, one of the cool things is they're like doing anything and everything they can to get sharks up. But not only that, they're bringing the sharks to you. I don't know if other companies do this, but they're literally like grab old bait, a fish, a cut up fish in their hand. And they would like swim over to you and like drop it near you. So a shark would come near you or for me. I'm like, I don't know I'm ready for that yet, but that is a cool experience that they're doing now. Like, and, and there's a couple of guys on there too. So they're always, you know, keeping an eye for you too. I feel safe. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Honestly, my favorite part was once I was already comfortable with them, they were also very friendly with us, I guess due to the fact that we were feeding them and uh, they saw that we were chill. I was starting to swim with them. Uh, some of them would even swim under me and I would just like open my legs so they could pass through and then just touch to their skin. And I, I thought that was really surreal. I thought that was very cool. I think my favorite part was honestly just uh, the unknown, like not knowing what to expect. And so at all times, you know, you're, you're just excited. I was just excited to be there with you guys yeah. and to be doing something that's honestly, that's a bucket list to me. Well, I think for me was to find that space of being comfortable and then being able to dive down and then you're kind of face face to face with them and to see them come at you but then just know like those guys are very perceptive and they were always watching um, so you just knew you were in a safe space. I think my favorite part was watching Cameron and Mickey interact with the sharks because mm -hmm. I not being there and witnessing it personally I would have never guess that people can actually interact with a wild animal like that the way that they did so witnessing yeah. that was probably it was like a show mm -hmm. that yeah. I was like in it in the show watching it that was a cool so does this change your perspective on sharks in general because we, we all yes. have this notion like you're getting in the water and obviously yes it's it's an apex predator but does it change the way you see sharks definitely yeah definitely. 1, percent yeah. yeah as a matter of fact yesterday which is something that we just found out they had a shark fishing tournament so they were doing a petition to ban it unfortunately they still did it and they caught 12 bull sharks 
Um, but so this video, not only was it a perfect time for us to do it just because of the excitement, but also to, to spread awareness and to show people that these creatures are not as bad as people make them seem, right? I encourage you guys to make it a trip and make it a point to come yeah. out here and swim with mm -hmm. sharks. Agreed. You'll definitely love it. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Aside from just doing something fun, it was an experience. It was a learning experience too. Yeah. It really was. Yeah. Yeah. Today we had a bunch of sandbar sharks and a few player silkies. Uh, beautiful conditions, probably 100 feet plus of visibility. So another epic day out there. Glad we got to put you guys on some good action. One of the things about shark addicts is that they actually have the longest time in the water. Right. So what would you say we did today? We had to have done an hour and a half to two hours of water time. Some of these other boats, they'll uh, run you in and run you out and you're probably in the water for 40 minutes. Like we'll go out at the same time and pass them at the mouth of the inlet. And then when we're coming from in from our trip, they're already heading back out with their next group. Yeah. So, you know, we don't we don't do that here. We put you on them for the amount of time you deserve. One last question is when is the best time of the season to actually come here and swim with sharks with you guys? We like April through September. That's usually the calmest, cleanest water, most species of sharks and usually the most uh, amount of sharks. So right now it's probably the hottest, hottest months, July and August. Shark Addicts, Jupiter.com. Appreciate Come it, man. see us. As always, guys, thanks for watching and tuning in. We appreciate all the support you've given to our channel. And if you guys have any questions, definitely comment below and we'll get right back to you guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Did you ever think you're going to be swimming with sharks? Oh, no. How'd you come on the trip? <laughs> I was called literally two days before, <laughs> Friday at work. <laughs> I said, hey, Alejandro, you want to go swimming with sharks? Yes. Yes. That's all he said. Yeah. <laughs> One word, reply, let's go. <laughs> I've known Evan for about two years now, and since we've met, we've been talking about going swimming with sharks. And I keep putting it off. We keep putting it <laughs> off. So it took one person to make this happen right here. We told her about it. She was like, let's book it now. And sure enough, here we are in Jupiter, and we booked it.